people on the internet welcome to resident evil village <clears throat> long ago a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work but the forest greeted them with a dark cold silence the bushes empty yet determined to find the berries the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful, golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. Fucking baby's not even she listening. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. A local tale. Besides... Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. <clears throat> oh, You're she snapped. You're being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh. I'll finish dinner. Okay, how's the sensitivity in this game? That's my big question right now. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Honestly, what's up with the sensitivity in this game? Mm. Can I play with the boy? Full? Boy? Alright, that's gonna be the whole video of me playing with these toys. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. I, please play with the ball. I, oh, fuck. Examine TV. Examine. Oh. Can I change the channel? That's the only one. Not even 1080p, that thing. That's horrible. I don't like it. <laughs> Is she okay? Sleeping like a... Well, like a baby. Hmm. That smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Oh. 
You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. Uh, okay, you, so maybe... me, Rose... Okay, so we're now, like... Everything's gonna Seriously, be... Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <gasps> No. Mia, get down. She got fucking shot. Mia. <laughs> fucking get down. Fuck, she's dead. Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? What the fuck? No explanation? That's cool, I guess. Go move! Fuck. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Rose. Get him out. Mia, get down. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly we talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just know. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to I take, have to take this. It seems like Resident Evil needed to take some cutbacks with Mia. <laughs> Just fucking kill her. Jesus. Did you just say Jimmy says? About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the Phone's dead. What the hell happened? What the hell happened to you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, um, Ethan. <laughs> okay, these are birds. Why are there birds being hanged? I don't know. Like this. <gasps> Fuck, that was that was all. Who the fuck is that? Mm. Dinner. That's a pretty clean toothbrush. I do not like how low lit this is. <gasps> that is a nice juicy sausage. Okay.
Oh. Oh. Hello there. Hello there. <gasps> it's gonna be Louise or whatever. <gasps> that guy from Resident Evil 4, the one that was stuck in the broom, the one that came out of the closet. Cool. Thank uh thank you for that whoever did that. Oh no, it's all bloody. Where the hell am I? That one's alive. Maybe maybe they're out. Why does this look like my vomit when I puke? Oh, this was the picture that I that I that I picked up. What happened? Oh fuck, that guy scared me. That also is weird. No, no, oh. friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Tell me it's out there. Hey, are you listening? Oh. Dead body? Wait, there's more. It's gonna move your head real real quick. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's an alive one. Not again. Shit. What the fuck was that? No. What the hell? Something tells me what I just said. Ooh. Ooh, that made me jump. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louise's house near the fields. Survivors? Wait, can I go in here? Cool. Of course it's locked. Oh, just got hit with an arrow. Oh, 
Oh my god. That motherfucker was Hagrid. There's the old lady. Life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey! Can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Castle Bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no! Wait! Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? 